Assalamu alaikum. 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Shiraz Mahmood Khan. First, the headlines. Kashmir Hour was observed across the country today to express solidarity with the oppressed people of occupied Kashmir. Addressing a gathering of an occasion of Kashmir Solidarity Hour, Prime Minister said India will be given a befitting response if it attempts to launch a false flag operation in Azad Jammu and Kashmir. Senate today unanimously passed a resolution strongly condemning the illegal annexation of occupied Kashmir by India. The United States, Saudi Arabia, and South Korea have expressed concern over human rights violation in Indian occupied Kashmir. And now the news in detail. Kashmir Solidarity Hour was observed from 12 to 12.30 hours today, during which sirens were sounded all across the country and national anthems of Pakistan and Azad Jammu Kashmir were played. Special ceremonies were held at President House and Prime Minister's Secretariat to express solidarity with the oppressed people of Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Ministers, MNAs, officials, public servants, students, and school and colleges, universities, and people from various walks of life gathered outside the two executive offices, waving both Pakistani and Kashmiri flags. During national anthems, the people of uh, Pakistan and vehicles came into the standstill. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that India will be given befitting response if it attempts to launch a false flag operation as Jammu and Kashmir. Addressing to the main ceremony in Islamabad today to express solidarity with Kashmiris, the Prime Minister said that there are reports that India might resort in Operation Azad Jammu and Kashmir to divert attention from inhuman situation in occupied Kashmir. Imran Khan said Pakistan army is fully prepared to thwart any external aggression. He said today's ceremony is aimed at apprising our Kashmiri brethren that we share with their grief and pain fully stand by them. Imran Khan said that message from Pakistan is loud and clear that Pakistani nation will launch full struggle to win freedom for Kashmiris. Senate today unanimously passed a resolution strongly condemning the illegal annexation of occupied Kashmir by India, led by Narendra Modi and RSS gang he represents. It was moved by the leader of the House, Shibli Faraz. The resolution reads that annexation is to an attempt by India to change the demography of occupied Kashmir as the part of the racist and fascist India agenda. Saudi and South Korean foreign ministers have voiced concern over human rights violation in Indian occupied Kashmir. They expressed the sentiments during their conversation with Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in a telephonic conversation apprised them about the latest situation on the occupied valley. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in this telephonic conversation with Saudi counterpart Dr. Ibrahim bin Abdul Aziz Al Asaf said, Occupied Kashmir and Jammu is under curfew for last 25 days and all communication has been blocked in the area. In telephonic conversation with the South Korean counterpart, Kang kyung Wa, foreign minister said that the international community must play its role to get stop Indian atrocities in occupied Kashmir. The South Korean foreign minister said that her country is keeping a close eye on developments in the region. She said, breach of human rights is a serious issue which needs to be addressed. The United States has expressed concern about the reports of detention and restrictions imposed in Indian occupied Kashmir. 
Speaking to a media in Washington, State Department spokesman Morgan Otegas said that the United States is watching the situation in Jammu and Kashmir closely. The spokesperson said that Washington continues to recall for calm and restraint, including the rhetoric. She said United, United States encourages solving issue between Pakistan and India through dialogue, adding the Washington is concerned about forced detention and curfew in occupied Kashmir. Occupied Kashmir has become a big jail and hell of inhabitants as they are facing severe shortages, essential commodities due to the continued strict curfew and other restrictions imposed by the Indian government. Residents of Valley are facing acute shortage, edibles, baby food, life-saving drugs, Hundreds and thousands of Indian troops continue to keep people confined to their homes to stop their staging of anti-Indian demonstrations. Despite India's brutal measures keep defying the curfew and other restrictions are staging protests on daily basis to express their res resentment against the Indian occupied Kashmir. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.